Hey friends, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for popping by. Um, right now you can see me drawing. Uh, that's because after I sewed a pig the other day, I decided that I could design my own sewing patterns and sew three different animals. And you may be asking yourself, Sarah, why are you designing patterns when there is a pattern book in front of you? And to that, my answer is, I don't know, but um, I tried my best. They did not transfer well to fabric, and you will see that at the end of the video. So the first animal that I decided to try and sew is my favorite. It's a bear. And I thought this would be the easiest one, which is why I started with it, because it's pretty simple shape. It's just a head and a body. And like the head's kind of just like a little boop out the front, you know? Boy, was I so very wrong. Um, not including the complications during sewing because I'm dumb and was actually watching TV over my family's shoulder, which is why there's no audio to this part. Um, I drew the pattern horribly, horribly wrong. And what I thought was changing the pig head into a bear head turned the pig nose into a bear head. So it's tiny. And my family did not know it was a bear. Um, it's terrible. They likened it to a guinea pig, and my heart broke. Whoa. Hello there. Welcome back to... I can't sew. If I hadn't tried to make the back a different color, um, it could be an echidna. I'm just like put the eyes there. Not a turtle though. It's definitely not a turtle. But with all of my skills and effort, I'm gonna try and make it a turtle. So the last animal I decided to try and make was a moose. So that's going to be the wildest because I tried to change the pattern the most. And clearly even just trying to change the head shape is a no-go. It's a no bueno. So Frankenstein complete. Sweet Frankenstein turtle. Frankenstein turtle. That was bad. So I could put me out of my misery. Okay. Okay. So right now, this is the turtle. Yeah. It's good. This is a good head. Yeah. Can't tell me otherwise. So now, I'm just gonna... Take a piece of this, just like a little strip, and I'm going to try and make like a thing to just like stick around the edge of the shell so that it looks more like a shell and not just like an echidna. Echidnas have spikes, I guess it could be an echidna, just yeet some eyeballs in there. But no, it's a turtle. So echidnas are found in Australia, they are marsupials. That might be a lie. They're kind of like platypuses. I think they lay eggs. Someone should fact check me. Spouting. Hey, what's up? What's cooking? It's moose time. Oh, this is so crooked. And really, I can't do anything to fix it. So, rip. But yeah, here's my friends. They're all bad. And now, we're gonna make 
make an even worse one. Because we're starting out with this. So. What's up? Back at it again. Working on this mousse. It's by far going to be the worst one. But I'm just here to have fun. So. Oh no. Not good. They don't line up. Which is cool. I deserve it. Sweet. Apart from that, we're looking pretty okay. Okay. This is the moment of truth. Oh, I made the hole in the back much too small. It's fine. You know, it looks absolutely no different from anything else I've created. But the legs, them leggies should be longer maybe. I don't know. I tried to make them longer. Uh, they're definitely there. Maybe. If I could ever turn them around. Oh, oh I think I did the best job sewing this one. Even if I didn't plan it the best, it is sewn the best. That's where it just immediately disintegrates and I take it all back. But right now, I'm feeling like, look at that leg. Wow. That's all I gotta say is just, wow. There's no words to describe it. Okay, I'm gonna put eyes on this guy. So of these sad turtle eyes that are too small. Should have put the big ones in anyways, but oh well, too late now. Stick them leggies out. Okay. I don't know, but let's get to stuffing. My favorite part. I think we're gonna have to like get in. Don't these back legs are thick and the front legs are kinda like spindly. It's fascinating. I don't understand how sewing patterns work at all. But I've learned my lesson on the turtle and the polar bear, and this one is a pleasant surprise. Oh, what a front profile. That's terrifying. But it looks nice from the side. Absolute monster from the front. Okay. Oh well. Thoughts? It's gonna haunt you? Me too. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Bear looks a bit like a berry tubby hamster. Yeah. And, uh, is the other guy a pig? Well, that, that's the pig's the good one! Can't diss the best one oh, of them! Oh, yeah, he's cute. And Turtle's cute. He's a little strange. But he's, I mean, he's a turtle. Or he's so. recognizable as a turtle? Yeah, he's a little bit tall. Yeah, he looks like uh, one of the other animals wearing a hat. <laughs> I don't. And what's this guy? It's the moose. Oh, let's check him out. I want to see moose. <laughs> he kind of looks like a dolphin if you can oh, get rid no. of his... Uh... Oh, the... Oi, oi. Yeah, totally. Oi, oi. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. I just took this part. Don't you think he it... looks kind of dolphin-like? It for sure looks like a dolphin, but it's a moose! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let, let's see the. I want to see his. Yeah, built. His... I haven't made the antlers yet. I also think I lost the pattern for. It. Oh no, they're right here. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm trying my best. <laughs> hey 
Okay guys, here are the final results. So, first off, got, li got Little Piggy. He was the pattern, like the original one that I did not design. And he's adorable. Look at that nose and those ears. And then we go over to what I thought would be the easiest, but disappointed me the most. Bear, who kind of has a little bit of a snoot. Um, if it was longer, he'd be an anteater, but for now, he's just a hamster and he's not in focus, but that's fine. And then second, my beautiful turtle whose shell looks like a hat. He's got some teeny tiny beady eyes, but other than that, I think he turned out great. Look at that. Didn't the strip around the edge really help? Also, he's really, really chonky. I don't know what I did there, but. Okay, last but not least, we have the pride and joy of my collection, Mr. Moose, the dolphin. Or, or um, he turned out surprisingly well. The antlers, eh, they don't cooperate as quite as nicely as I wanted them to, but I think he turned out fantastically, um, significantly better than all of these back here. So the moral of the story is designing patterns. Although you may think you know what you're getting, sometimes life just throws you a little boop boop. Uh, okay, thanks for sticking around. Bye bye. This is the whale moose. This one is the elephant hamster. This one is the guinea pig cow. And this one is the uh, hmm, the tortoise. Um, hmm. This one is the tortoise named hey. Franklin. I support that. You got one right. Thanks so much for putting up with that horrible disaster of a video. I spent so long trying to edit it on my phone. So if it's a little jumpy, my apologies. Um, since you made it this far into this really long and really boring video, oh, um, hit me up, send me a message, and I'll show you one of these animals, except for the moose, not him. <laughs> um, he was too hard to make. So a pig, a bear, or a turtle. The bear being a hamster. I'll, I'll sell it for you. Peace out. Bye-bye.